This is BBC News. I'm Julian Warwick. The headlines at eight o'clock. A big step on the road to Brexit as agreement is reached on the UK's transition period. But a warning, there's still work to be done. Businesses need not delay investment decisions or rush through contingency plans based on guesses about the future deal. Instead, they now have certainty about the terms that will apply immediately after our withdrawal. Une étape décisive reste une étape. Decisive step remains a step. We're not at the end of the road, and there is a lot of work still to be done. Also tonight, the Met Police say the investigation into the poisoning of a former Russian double agent in Salisbury could take months. Close to the town, forensic teams examine another car in a bid to find where the nerve agent was administered. ITV presenter Ant McPartlin is to step down from his TV commitments after being arrested on suspicion of drink driving. Uber suspends its self-driving car program after a woman is hit and killed by one of their cars in the US. Rises in share prices for bookmakers, as a report recommends lowering the maximum stake for betting terminals, but at a higher amount than campaigners had hoped for. Calls for drugs testing facilities to be made available to recreational users in nightclubs to prevent deaths related to impurities. Hello, good evening and welcome to BBC News. The UK and the EU have conditionally agreed to a transition deal that should smooth the way towards Brexit.